Good morning. It's Monday and it's time for our devotion together. Uh, this is the third week of Lent, uh, but we are we, our devotions point forward to the Sunday after, so we are looking at fourth week of Lent. Scriptures. Today's is 1 Samuel 16, 1 to 13. Uh, the anointing of David to be king over Israel. I'll get right into it. The Lord said to Samuel, How long are you going to grieve over Saul? I have rejected him as king over Israel. Fill your horn with oil and get going. I'm sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem because I have found my next king among his sons. How can I do that? Samuel asked. Saul, when Saul hears of it, he'll kill me. Take a heifer with you, the Lord replied, and say I have come to make a sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will make clear to you what you should do. You will anoint for me the person I point out to you. Samuel did what the Lord instructed. When he came to Bethlehem, the city elders came to meet him. They were shaking with fear. Do you come in peace? they asked. Yes, Samuel answered. I've come to make a sacrifice to the Lord. Now make yourselves holy, then come with me to the sacrifice. Samuel made Jesse and his sons holy and invited them to the sacrifice as well. When they arrived, Samuel looked at Eliab and thought, That must be the Lord's anointed right in front. But the Lord said to Samuel, Have no regard for his appearance or stature, because I haven't selected him. God doesn't look at things like humans do. That's something we should remember. Humans see only what is visible to the eyes, but the Lord sees into the heart. Next, Jesse called for Abinadab, who presented himself to Samuel, but he said, The Lord hasn't chosen this one either. So Jesse presented Shema, but Samuel said, No, the Lord hasn't chosen this one. Jesse presented seven of his sons to Samuel, but Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord hasn't picked any of these. Then Samuel asked Jesse, Is that all of your boys? Well, they're still the youngest one, Jesse answered, but he's out keeping the sheep. Send for him, Samuel told Jesse, because we can't proceed until he gets here. So Jesse sent and brought him in. He was reddish-brown, had beautiful eyes, and was good-looking. The Lord said, That's the one. Go anoint him. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him right there in front of his brothers. The Lord's spirit came over David from that point forward. Interesting that... Well, there's lots of interesting. <clears throat> and I And I hope that... Like, this is another one of those, this is sort of my kick this week. Uh, this is another one of those stories that feels familiar for those of us who've kicked around the Bible for a while. Uh, and uh, and it's easy just to overlook, oh yeah, yeah, you pick the smallest one, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. And yet, uh, okay, fine, so, but is there any more? Is there something deeper? What are we missing uh, and look with interest, like, hey, what's what's happening here? Well, this time around, as I read this, I thought, you know, well, you know, first, you know, the Lord judges the heart, not external appearances. But then when David's presented, the commentary is, well, he's, look at how beautiful he is. Uh, and, uh, and the Lord says that's the one. I, the Lord's not the one saying how beautiful he is, right? But it's just an interesting uh, how easy it is to slip back. <laughs> Into n n into not thinking like the Lord. Uh, well, that's weird because can we really think like the Lord? But we, I mean, that's the effort, right? Okay. Well, Spirit of God, descend. Spirit of God, descend upon my heart. Wean it from earth through all its pulses move. Stoop to my weakness, mighty as thou art, and make me love thee as I ought to love. I ask no dream, no prophet ecstasies, no sudden rending of the veil of clay, no angel visit and no opening skies, but take the dimness of my soul away. Hast thou not bid us love the Holy One, 
all all thine own soul heart and strength and mind you can hear the trumpets going bum 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 bum, bum. i see thy cross there call my heart to run oh let me seek thee o let oh, and o oh, let me find Teach me to feel that thou art always nigh. Teach me the struggles of the soul to bear. To check the rising, doubt the rebel sigh. Teach me the patience of unanswered prayer.